Well, I mean, nothing really to wait for. Good morning, good morning, Heidelberg. I hope you had a nice night and a great evening and met up with lots of cool people. I know I did. And welcome to the second day of DjangoCon Europe. As always, I want to remind you that our code of conduct is readily available online to be read by you and understood by you and applies to all events relating to the event, DjangoCon Europe, so to social events in the evening, to things online, to posts you do on Twitter with the hashtag relating to the event, all of that and that Anna, Norma, Sasha and myself are always available if you have any questions or concerns and we also have a contact telephone number and email address whatever mode of communication is most convenient and comfortable to you. Feel free to contact us at any time and we'll be happy to be there for you. I've got a couple of announcements to go through and then we'll I'll hand off right to Rachel for the keynote. We'll have lightning talks again. I think we had re really great lightning talks yesterday and we'll continue today. If you have submitted a lightning talk yesterday and you weren't chosen, which is by no means a judgment of your talk, we just had more submissions than we could fit, please resubmit today if you wish to have that lightning talk today. Um, because we just can't know if you're still at the venue, so we can't assume and reuse the submissions we have gotten. Um, again, we will have uh, two buckets, or we already have two buckets at the registration, one for first-time speakers, for people who have not spoken at a major conference before, and one for everybody else. So just write down your name and the topic you would want to present on a card and put it in the correct bucket until the end of lunch break and by the afternoon coffee break we will post and tweet and tell you about who will be able to give a lightning talk. And also, again, the reminder uh, about the two great rules Eric coined on Twitter and on his blog, um, the Pac-Man rule, which means if you stand in a group especially a group of people who all know each other, try to leave a space open on one side so that other people know they're welcome and can join you. And if you've been at this conference before, I know it's very tempting to just hang out with the cool people you've met in previous years, but try to meet at least one new person per day for every year you've been at DjangoCon before which is challenging to some because this year is the 10th DjangoCon, so potentially you should meet 10 new people, but uh, we do have a party tonight, so that should make things easier. Also, if, you, if DjangoCon Europe is the first professional or conference at all you've, you are attending, talking to people is one of the major points of a conference. The talks are another one and there's lots of cool stuff going on, but talking to people is a really good reason to be here and a good thing to do because you can meet all sorts of interesting people. And it can be challenging, but it's also really rewarding and people are here to talk to others. So if you just go to somebody and say, hey, what was your favorite talk so far? Or, hey, where are you from? I'm from I don't know, I'm from Australia. And then that gives the other person an opening to say, oh wow, that's, that's like really far away, isn't it? And, <laughs> sorry. Um, so just don't be scared. It's really normal to just approach people you don't know and ask them about their favorite talk or what they do at work. I know when I was at my first professional conference, this was really weird to me and I didn't know how people talk to each other, so just try it. Everybody here is really, really nice. Also a reminder, tomorrow, tomorrow will be our physical health day, more or less. We will have a morning run where people can meet up at 8 a.m. outside the main entrance and go for a short run and enjoy the morning together after the party. 
and we will also have in the morning during talks we will make another announcement for that a physical health offering which uh, will have a physical trainer show you how you can improve your physical health if you work a desk job which is just not what we as humans are meant to do and tonight we will have our birthday party uh, right at Halle 02, which is very close to the main station. Um, and we will give you very detailed instructions on how to get there closer to the end of the day when you won't actually forget it because all of the cool new talks sit on top of that knowledge. Um, as always, I'd like to remind you that uh, the code of conduct applies there and we have alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks there. And we would like to encourage you to behave very responsibly, drink responsibly, and to, you know, take care not to drink too much because that's horrible for you and that's annoying for everybody around you. Or chances are it will be. Uh, we will also not offer dinner at the party. Um, so you might want to get something ahead of time, but we will have a surprise. Um, uh, we also have uh, information on the venue available online and we will improve that information during the day and make it more specific. As yesterday, we also have video streaming and recording available. The streaming is at available at streaming.media.ccc.de because the streaming is offered by the Video Operation Center of Chaos Computer Club Germany, uh, who are doing an amazing job before we left the venue yesterday Before we and they left the venue yesterday, all recordings were available and uploaded to YouTube in high definition. So thank you so much. This is amazing. Also, we are interested in what you think and especially what you think we could do better. So we have a feedback jar or box available at the registration information desk and some cards next to it. So if there's something that you notice that we should or could do better, you can always tell us personally or, or drop us an email, but if you want to do it in an easy and offline and anonymous way, just write it on an index card and drop it in there. And we will also hand off that information to if it's relevant in general and not just like this one corner of the room was weird, to the next team running DjangoCon Europe. Which reminds me, running DjangoCon Europe is very, very much of a job and it's very rewarding and nice. If you're interested in hosting DjangoCon Europe, come talk to me or any other of the organizers with the blue lanyards. It's a lot of work, but it's also really, really cool. We'd like to chat to you about it. You can also, we can also direct you to, to other previous organizers of DjangoCon Europe. And DjangoCon is still looking for a place for next year, so please come talk to us if you're interested at all. And now, without further housekeeping to do, I will hand, up, uh, hand off to Rachel with her keynote for today. Thank you.